what is going on guys i'm here talking to you guys and you guys are probably like who's this person right here tell them your name lawrence yes this is my cousin lawrence if you didn't already know that you probably don't know that because almost nobody i know watches my youtube videos and i was in a funny story i was actually on the train yesterday filming myself for a youtube video i'm probably gonna upload later maybe not today and um people were looking at me like i was crazy on that train and i might show you a clip of that video so look out for that right now City, um, it's actually 5:25 in New York City. It's almost nine, and it's not even that dark yet. But you saw the title on, of this video. But obviously, you know what this video is gonna be about. This video is gonna be the top five most boring wrestlers in the WWE right now. So. Yeah, guys. So after after you guys finish watching this video, leave a comment of who you think are the most boring WWE superstars in the WWE right now. All right, guys. So number five, me and Lawrence actually agreed on this one. Um, Curtis Axel. What? This guy is so boring. When he actually first came to the WWE, he could not wrestle at all. I cannot, I could, I couldn't stand him. He's still not that good, but I can at least stand him a little bit now. But, but the, but Curtis Axel, he is one of the most boring wrestlers right now. Like he's just a ripoff of Triple H. <laughs> yeah, and then he just spits out water. That doesn't really make any sense. Like, you guys might have noticed it, but when he goes like that, he spits out water. So, a lot of you guys may agree with me. A lot of you guys may not. But it doesn't really matter because we are all people and we have different opinions. Four on our list. Why are they playing this music outside of my building? Anyway, number four on this list, you guys can see my Elimination Chamber playset. It's right there. Huh. Right there. Anyway, number four on our list is the Great Khali. This guy is seriously boring. He should have been one of the t ten guys that got fired. Well, ten talent, WWE talents that got fired on Thursday. Like... Not Drew McIntyre and Kurt Hawkins. No. It should have been the great Kali. Lawrence, how do you feel about the great Kali? Like, all he does is walk around like he's a big guy, but every time he gets in the ring, he loses. I know. Like, none of the other big guys in WWE lose. Not the Big Show, not Kane. They don't even lose that much. Like, they don't lose unless somebody cheats. But anyway, the great Kali, he is just a big 
stupid. No, he's not stupid. I don't know him in real life. But, like, when he gets in the ring, he's very stupid. He's a very stupid wrestler. Not as a person. I don't know him as a person. But as a wrestler, his wrestling skills are very stupid. He cannot wrestle very good. <sighs> he's just a big guy. Just a waste of talent. Seriously. And all he does is ooh and hit people in the head. Yeah, like, what's with that move set? Like, three moves. Seriously, like, talk about John Cena, five moves of doom. Great Khali, three moves of doom. What are you talking about? And John Cena doesn't even have five moves of doom. I'll get to that in another video. But anyway, yeah, let's get to the next. Um, I don't even know. Three on our list is... Randy Orton, but people make this funny joke, huh? <laughs> Grimm's Toy Show, calling him Blandy Borton. Other people said that before Grimm's Toy Show, I think. I don't know. Borton Orton. You know, that's not a thing. Um, anyway, Randy Orton, he's very boring. He used to be exciting. His last exciting run was with Christian. That right there was some really good feud. Like, if that feud was right now today, I would not be complaining about that. That was Randy Orton's last good feud. That was the only interesting thing. That was the last interesting thing that Randy Orton did. After that, oh, sorry. After that, Randy Orton got completely boring. How do you feel about Randy Orton? All he does is he get treated like favoritism by Triple H because he was one of the things of evolution. Yeah, Randy Orton was one of the first members of the original evolution. He's supposed to be Triple H's golden boy. And, um, but Randy Orton doesn't deserve any of that. Well, he kind of does. He's He was good, but then Randy Orton just got sloppy with his moves, and now he's just trash in the ring. So, yeah. Number two is David Otunga. Technically, you guys might, some of you new wrestling fans might not know who David Otunga is. But David Otunga, he, even though David Otunga hasn't wrestled in a while, his last time he's in WrestleMania 30, I don't know if you guys saw him in the Andre Giant Memorial about a Roy, he was just thrown in there. Um, but seriously... He is very boring, and he's, like, the worst wrestler, like, on the roster right now. He's still an active guy on the roster. I, I looked it up a couple of days ago. Um, David Otunga, the only reason I think he's famous or partly famous is because he's married to Jennifer Hudson. I mean, wait, is that her name? Yeah, I think it's her name. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Jen. Him and Jennifer Hudson have a kid and stuff like that. And, like, I think that's the only reason he's really famous because of Jennifer Hudson. Like, he can't do anything good in the ring. He's boring. He's not good on the mic at all. All David Otunga has is the physique. That's the only thing that David Otunga has. He has a great body, good abs. But, no, David Otunga is not very good. Lauren, what do you have to say about... David Otunga. All David Otunga was good at is when he was with the Nexus. Yeah, he wasn't that good, but he was interesting at that time. So, yeah, that was number two. <laughs> number two. <laughs> that sounds funny. Number one. Okay, guys, before I tell you guys who this is, you guys are going to be disliking this video saying stuff, um, saying that you hate this video in the comments, I'm wrong, and stuff like that, I'm gonna get 3,000 dislikes, I don't even get 3,000 views, I'm not gonna get 3,000 dislikes, anyway, you guys are gonna, I know everybody loves him, right, number one is Daniel Bryan, wow, <laughs> yes, yes, no, I'm just kidding. But it's seriously Daniel Bryan. Now, 
A lot of you guys saying, what? Daniel Bryan, he's from the Indies. How can Daniel Bryan be boring? He's a phenomenal wrestler. No, look, here's a story. First of all, Daniel Bryan, I hear that he's supposed to be some phenomenal indie wrestler, right? But seriously, all Daniel Bryan does is kick. Like, what's the big deal with Daniel Bryan? He doesn't do anything. Like, what he does in the ring is not even that serious. Like, he's he's good. Like, no doubt about it. But, like, I am hearing that he's phenomenal and he's the best and stuff like that. Like, no, Daniel Bryan is not that good. Like, sometimes I kind of agree with Triple H. Oh, now I'm a heel, right, guys? Yeah, I'm a heel. Oh, no. Oh, no. Daniel Bryan is boring. He is boring. He does not... Sometimes he entertains me when he wrestles a little bit. Like, it's you see him punk and Kane and stuff like that. But, like, he doesn't entertain me that much. Lawrence, what do you have to say about Daniel Bryan? All day, Bryan... All he does is say, yes, yes, yeah, but that's annoying. Like, he says that every match. It does get annoying, and it does get old. I can see it with my own two, with my own four eyes. The crowd is, the crowd is getting tired of it. I can tell. Like, not as much people are doing the yes chant. And Daniel Bryan, he is very boring. That is my opinion, and I stand by that opinion that Daniel Bryan is very boring. So, yeah. It's getting awkward now. They're playing some music. Ew, I don't like that song. Anyway, yeah, I don't like it. Anyway. I'd say one more thing before we leave. Daniel Bryan is annoying and boring. See you later. So guys, like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and I gotta do one more thing before we go. Stay beastly.